Hello and welcome back to our sustainable journey. I'm Steve. Today we're suited up. We're gonna go grab our honey supers and we will take you along and show you that whole process. So a few days ago, we put on so right here, okay, so this is the hive, right? So you've got two deeps. These are called deeps. These are the supers. Um, this is the queen excluder. Um, this was a honey super that hadn't been filled out yet. These three were filled out. Um, so that's why we put this, this board right here, which is called an escape. And I'll show it to you once we open it up. Um, so you can see those three have it. That one didn't need it because um, that super isn't even close to being full. This one did, and then we put one over there. I only have five of them, um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take these three, six, nine, and eleven uh, supers and the and the escapes um, off, and then we'll come back. We'll put the escapes on five more hives um, while I'm extracting the the ones that we pull. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll pull those um, in 24 to 48 hours. So we put these on there two days ago. And what happens is as the bees go down into the brood chamber at night, um, they can't figure out how to get back in because um, it's a confusing labyrinth, I guess, for them. Um, so that's the whole idea with the escapes. Some people use fume boards. I don't like fume boards because um, it makes everything stink. Um, and it, you know, it works faster because it'll take them, you know, 10 minutes to get out of the super. Um, some people use leaf blowers to get the bees out, or they'll use a fume board and leaf blowers. Um, this is our process because it's way easier and way gentler on the bees. So, and leaf blower on like the lowest setting, so it's not like they're blowing them across the yard or anything, but that just seems mean. So let's pop one open. And we'll start um, pulling supers off. One more. Anyway, hopefully that's 
good shot. Okay, so we have one. Oh, so one frame that was capped. Um, so, a lot of um, so there's one back over here that has capped. A couple frames where you got those. All right, so we're at seven and a half. Put this frame in there. Okay, so seven and a half, and that's a deep. So that, I don't know that that counts as more, I guess, because it's gonna be a lot more honey that comes out of there. So we got seven, and then three frames. So we're gonna brush the bees off of this one. Make sure there's no more bees in any of these ones. There's a couple, because it, it, it took us a minute. Um, and then we will uh, start extracting. Okay, so let me show you these escapes. So it's basically just a triangle. Like the, so you put this in upside down so the bees would escape through these, through these holes. But they can't figure out how to get back. I don't see how this is confusing because I think I'd be able to figure out my way, but apparently bees can't. Um, but they can if you leave them in there too long. So you usually want to put them in there 24, 48 hours is good enough. As you could see, most of those were, were clear on the other hives. We're going to put them on these hives next. Um, and after, it's been what, two hours maybe? They're clear. Like they were covered in bees before trying to get back in, but they're all clear now. So we're going to pop them on these ones. And then we'll be ready to extract these ones um, either later today or tomorrow.
So that's done. Then we come back tomorrow and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more supers of honey to grab tomorrow and extract. So that'll put us at right around what, 20? So roughly 20 supers. So the downside to using these skateboards is you're in the hives twice, um, but the second time you're just grabbing the supers off and putting them away. So it's usually not too big of a, a hassle for the hives. You don't want to be in them too much, or too often. Um, but 21 supers, so that's 210 frames of honey that we'll be extracting this weekend. So that'll be fun and sticky.